Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen is another screen of the day by John Nutter, this one titled Color Rounds. As you can see there are a lot of home screens now getting that Facebook home little circle icon style and it looks really good as you can see on this home screen. What John Nutter has done is to split up your home screen into your social, your media as well as this basic home shortcuts that are easily accessible. You only need one screen for this setup as what else? You have everything for you right there. And what sets this theme apart is that all those pictures that you see there before you can be rearranged or modified to whatever picture you want. Yes, that's right. If you don't like, say, a picture in the middle, you can change it to your own picture or any other picture on your phone. Topping it off at the bottom, it's got that battery indicator, your weather indicator, and your time and date, making this a real exceptional home screen. So without further ado, let's bring to you today's video tutorial. Okay, great. So starting off, we're going to be using our stock SS launcher that we can see over here. Don't worry if you got a Galaxy Note 2 or an S3, then using Nova or Apex launcher will be good for you as you can just fit on the UCCW skins perfectly without any hassle whatsoever. But if you're like me and you got a, say, a Nexus 4 and you got some soft keys at the bottom, then you're going to have to be doing some rearranging with these UCCW skins. But don't worry, I'll be showing you how to do that. Great, so like I said, we'll be doing this in SS Launcher just so you can make sure that everything will fit nicely for you. Great, so starting off, we're just gonna push back now just to get into our options here. We're gonna select our theme and we're gonna go into our label like that. Scrolling down, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and you wanna make sure that hide labels is ticked as well. You don't want those labels at the top there as they can get in the way. So you just wanna select hide labels, then say apply changes and this will get rid of them for you nearly done we just want to go back and then back again to get back into our options here and then we're going to go into our preferences now the one thing that you need to change here is make sure that it is full screen you want to select enable full screen so that gets rid of the navigation bar here at the top but do not worry once you select it and you go out you can still get all your notifications just like that by swiping down so not to worry there great that's pretty much your ss launcher settings set up Next, well, we don't have to worry about a wallpaper as well. So we're going to jump straight in to the UCCW skins. Great, so for those UCCW skins, remember earlier in the, big, in the video, we copied them onto your phone. Well, now you're going to access them. So we're going to hold down. You're going to select new widgets. And you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now with SS Launcher, what's great about it is that it doesn't really matter what size you choose. So we can go for, say, a 3x2 and we can always just resize it from there. You're going to select use it now at the top and you want to go into that folder that you've copied onto your phone. Remember, must add end in use it and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, just to explain some things here for you, you've got your home and then your home back. So what that means is that your home, that, that's home use is going to be in the front and then obviously the back is going to be behind that. That's going to be your little circle images that'll be in the background. So let's say we go for home. I'm just going to say yes. It's going to import it for you. So what I just did there is tapped it back and then selected the hand. This will allow you to hold down and now resize it for you. So now what you're going to be doing, as you can see, you're going to select the little sliders on the side here. And this will enable you to make it bigger. As you can see, the skin is getting pretty large. So we want to get it to touch the sides, but it gets a bit hard after a while. So you want to move it to the side a bit there, drag it a bit bigger, make it a bit bigger. And there we go. You want to make it touch exactly on each side remember you can even use a little joystick here to get that fine tuning done so we're going to make it a little bit higher make room for the bottom skin but that's pretty much it you just tap away to pretty much lock it in and there we have it now as you can see we've got our circles here missing we're going to put in our back skin now so we're going to hold down on the home screen select new widget again and then scroll all the way to the bottom again select any size of a uccw go into our use up and now we want to select our home back dot use up yep that's right home back because now that's going to be behind this home skin that we've just imported so remember we're going to select back select the hand and there we have our circles right here so now what we're going to be doing is holding down again now you want to make it wide as well try and make it the same width as the screen remember drag it across a bit and then across again so you can try and see more or less how it's going to fit onto your phone 
So now we make it a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good. So you're just gonna select away now. You're gonna hold down on the skin and now you're gonna say to back. That's gonna send it back and there we have our pictures locked in just like that. Great, now that was the easy part. The hard part comes in now is to make sure that these skins will fit onto your phone's resolution. I'm gonna scroll across here to my completed one and as you can see, I've had to do some rearranging as they, it doesn't really fit the exact phone's resolution for the Nexus 4. So what I'm gonna show you here is how to customize each one of the UCCW skins just so that they look all good in the correct order. So make sure your hotspots mode's off. If not, you just need to go back, go into your applications. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, we've got the UCCW tutorial in the link below. Go into UCCW, go into your options, lock widgets, and say off. This will turn off your hotspots mode, allowing you to customize your UCCW skins. Great. So once that's open, you're gonna select your skin now. It's gonna bring up your UCCW editor. And this is where the fun begins because now you're going to be making sure that everything's a bit lower down, a bit higher up, whatever is your preference. So we're going to select the background option here that brings up our select object preferences here. And as you can see, there are hundreds and thousands of options to choose from here. John Knight has really gone out of his way to bring you the best skins available. So as you can see, our We've got our static text here. Our most important one is our static text 4. That one is our home button over here because obviously we're going to want that to be lower first. So once that's selected, you're going to select position, faster movement and get it a bit lower. It's a bit, it's a bit hard to judge now, but you wanted to get it just a little bit lower. Obviously, once you've added in all your skins, you can see for yourself what is the best way of doing it. So next, you're going to select, go scroll down a bit and you want to go into image 2. That is your little heart over there. So you're gonna select position, faster movement, and then move it down. Try and get it in the same position as home. Great, you're gonna select close, and that's pretty much it. Now you wanna go scroll down. You're gonna select image one. What this actually is, is your little, well for this one, it's your leaf background, or any background that you selected for your skin. Now, if you wanna change it, you're gonna go scroll across. I haven't done this yet, so I just hope this works. You select image, and let's say go into your gallery and then find a picture that you would want to select. So say I like, say this car one, looks pretty cool. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So we're just gonna move it across. If you wanna get, obviously, if you wanna change the scale, the size of it, you just select scale, maybe make it, make it a bigger or smaller. And then position, and then just to do some finer movements if you would like. But once you get it the way you want it, there it is like that. You're just gonna select back now. And there it is like that. Great, that is pretty much, now you wanna be doing that for every one of these UCCW skins. I'm not gonna be doing it for each one of them as it's, it's, quite, it's, I wouldn't say it's a long process, but once you know how to say that's how you add one, then you're gonna be doing it for each one of these. So you just literally hold down, go back, and then repeat the process for social and media. Remember that you're gonna be moving down each one of these things just to get them the way you want it. Great, so once you've added in all of these skins, remember if you don't have any space to say add in the bottom one, then all you have to do is say, hold down this one and then drag it away. Maybe drag this one away as well. It's good, I highly recommend is doing this one last, obviously because these take quite a bit of effort to get into the right place. So I'm just gonna move this one back. Remember if you get it like this to use your, I highly recommend using this little joystick to get those fine tuned movements in, but that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna be showing you the problem lies where as you can see, this is covering this one over here. Now this is where it gets interesting because now you wanna get this one on top but still make room for the others. And this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the skin is just making everything resize and get it into the order that you want it to be. So like I said, you're gonna hold down and you're gonna select to front and then now see this one is in front of this one. So you just need to hold down and then say to front. And it's gonna keep going back and forth until you get all of them in front of each other basically, just so they all look good like this. And that's pretty much setting up your UCCW skins. Now remember, if you don't, if it's too high, if it's sticking out, you always have all those options to move them lower down just to get the exact resolution that you want. Another thing to remember is that everyone always complains about this, is that the Gmail account it comes up with saying, that this Gmail account or something comes up with a long sentence. You wanna open up the skin. You wanna say select background and then select Gmail one. 
You're gonna scroll all your controls all the way to the last one. You're gonna say select account, select your Gmail account, and then go into label, and then go into your, say your inbox, and it'll display how many inbox emails you have. So you're gonna select back, and there it is. It'll hopefully set it up for you. Finally, the one thing you wanna add, or you don't have to add, but it looks really cool. See these little hearts here? Remember when you touch them, the little hearts, it'll bring up your semi folder. Looks really cool. It made it into our top five widgets of May 2013. If you haven't checked that video, check it out in the link below. Now, it's very, very easy to set one of those up. So I'm gonna be showing you just a quick example of how to do it. Say we wanna put something into our home one. I'm just gonna be dragging this one up here just so we can get some space. But you wanna hold down on the home screen, select new widget, and you want a semi folder one by one. From here, you wanna go into your settings. You wanna go into add folder. Folder name, you just wanna select it and say, say call it home. Select down now, you wanna go into your app contacts. This can say what folder type you want. So an app folder is what I want. You're gonna go into your widget settings, your icon, you wanna select the drop down arrow, go into your gallery, and you wanna select the blank PNG. Don't worry, I'll provide one in the link below. It's just a transparent icon. So as you can see, it well, you won't have anything there. So you can leave everything else. You can change the, the widget layer or the text if you want, but or the background. I'm just gonna say okay, you can change the launcher settings as well, but I'm also just gonna leave them stock for now. And I'm gonna go select save. Now it's just created this home folder, so you can have it wherever you want, whatever home screen you have. So I'm just gonna go into it now, and as you can see, there are no apps just yet. So we're gonna select add, and now you can go crazy. You can add whatever. I'm just gonna add whatever, it doesn't really matter. Whatever or icons or apps you want. And then you select save. This will now save them for you, you can sort them. Looks really cool. You're just gonna go back now, and then back again, and now this is the main screen folder, so you wanna select home as your default or the folder that you'll be using. Do not worry if it's got the little home label, you're gonna be making it small enough so that disappears. Huh, little trick that you can pick up from me. So now we're just gonna be dragging that over the heart. You're welcome to set this as a hotspot, but I just found this as a little bit easier. And now you got it the way you want it, so you're just gonna be dragging this down now. Great, so let's test it out. You're gonna select the heart, and there it is, all of our little apps. It looks really cool, and it's really handy if you got wanna have more apps on one single screen. So there we have our home screen tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, as I'm getting back into my routine, so more videos are gonna be coming along the way. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.